everyone welcome back to the channel today it is a very exciting video because I'm gonna be sharing all of this stuff that I have purchased throughout the month for Ramadan I really want to decorate my home this year I feel like I didn't really get to decorate it to its fullest potential last year so I kind of went in I bought a lot of things from like Amazon days of Eid which I'm actually excited for because every single time I've tried to order from days of Eid it's always been sold out so this time I thought well in advance and I ordered literally two months before Ramadan. So this stuff has been just kind of like chilling in my closet and I'm really excited to see everything. I haven't even like really dug deep into it, but it is officially like, I don't know, by the time I'm posting this video, less than 25 days until Ramadan, which is so exciting. I cannot wait. I always get so excited every time Ramadan comes around. So inshallah, we can all make it there. And um, yeah, let me give you guys some inspo on what to purchase. If you want to, of course, you know, you don't have to get any of these items, but in case you are curious, I will have them linked down below. And um, yeah, everything should be in stock right now. I feel like the closer we get to Ramadan, things sell out. But um, if you are planning to decorate your home, I would check out all the links down below ASAP. So let's get into it. I'm going to start with, um, let's see, I'll just start with what's in front of me because this one is from Etsy. It's the only one that I purchased from Etsy, but I thought this was so cute. So imagine like every time I'm posting a new vlog every day, it starts with changing the days of like Ramadan. So it comes with all of these, it smells like corn chips. That's really strange. <laughs> it comes with all of these like wooden dates, I guess. Yeah. Like wooden dates. It's like zero, one, two, three, and it goes on and you can basically like plug them in right over here and I think I'm guessing this just like bends okay yeah so you can kind of like bend it like that and like place it on your counter and how cute is that it says normal dawn day you can do like day one how does it go on is it the other way okay oh okay perfect it just kind of like pops right on top over here and look on day one that's so cute and then like if it's like obviously double digits day 10 and I just thought this would be like a fun little activity for our community to do every single day during the Ramadan daily we can switch the dates and see what day of Ramadan it is and it's just so cute I feel like if you have kids this would be really really special for them as well like they can change the dates um, during Suhoor or during Iftar and stuff and it's really really nicely made too it's a metal Ooh, okay, I just realized. So you can also fold this up and then you can keep all of the little like dates inside over here so it doesn't like, you know, I feel like these things can get lost really easily, but now you can just take it, put it up at the front and you're good to go. I love it. I don't remember how much it was, but I will have like it all linked down below. I feel like it wasn't too expensive. Like at most, I feel like it was probably like $40, but probably less, so. I love this and ah, I can't wait to use it. <laughs> so that was the only thing I got from Etsy, but I also placed an order on Days of Eid, as I told you guys, and this is the little box that it came in. So this I've actually had my eye on for like two years and every single year that I've tried to order it, it's always been out of stock. So I'm really excited to have it with me now, but it's like that classic bamboo wood like date tray. I do a lot of hosting during Ramadan and I, I really wanted something like this last year. I think I ended up just getting like a metal one from Amazon, but it just didn't hit the same. But this is really cute because it has the little star and then the moon. It's really good quality and I think it's really cute just to kind of have throughout the year. Something new that I actually saw on their site this year though, I'm gonna post it like right over here because it hasn't come in yet. We literally just saw it yesterday. I think it was like a newer purchase, yeah, it right? Like it literally just got released. Um, but it's this really cute wooden tray and it has like it's like stackable and you can put all your dates and like little snacks and nuts in them and then you can cover it with a cute little like mosque dome top it's it's adorable and I feel like it's gonna be around this size so that will come whenever it comes I'll probably show it in the vlog whenever it does but I'm very very excited to have this I feel like this is one of those things that's just gonna be in my you know in my household for a very long time and I can just whip it out whenever I need to so anyways what I was trying to say is you can actually just keep it in the little packaging that it comes in and it's like perfect storage so I got another thing from days of Eid and they have really cute like lights and stuff and in the past I've done like twinkly lights, but I've never done anything like Ramadan themed and I thought this is just really beautiful. So it looks like this, it's kind of hard to show on camera, but 
It's basically like a row of string lights and it has the crescent moon and also the star and it has a bunch of different settings as well so it has like a combination in waves, sequential, I don't know what any of these mean, <laughs> slogs. Um, it has a slow fade, a twinkle, which I'll probably just keep it on a twinkle because I feel like that's really cute. I don't really know where I'm going to hang this yet. I'm thinking like on the inside of my balcony so that you can kind of see it from the outside, like the inside and outside of my house. But it's just so beautiful. Like look at all, oh, it's super bright. Sorry about that. But you can see all of the detail in this. I'll just zoom it for you guys. And I feel like it's going to be really, really beautiful. This is like a better idea of what it's going to look like. So it's like leveled, you know? Just plugs so you don't have to like put batteries or anything in it. Um, although I feel like a battery would have been easier. But I do have a plug outside. So I'm just going to... Oh, I didn't realize it was still zoomed in. Um, I'm just going to plug it up. And super cute. So... I think I accidentally ordered three tablecloths from Days of Age, but um, as I told you guys, I do like to host, so I feel like it'll still come in handy and I can just use them, you know, throughout the years and stuff, but it's this really cute tablecloth and, I mean, there's not much to it. It's a plastic table cover and um, it has some, like, cool Aztec star designs and um, I'll probably use this, like, on my island when people come over for FR. So it just makes it super easy to clean. And then I also got this Ramadan Mubarak sign. So this is like a bubble balloon thing. I don't know how, I guess you just blow it up. But it looks like this. It's like those bubble signs. I thought this would be really cute to have um, in my apartment when I have, when I'm like hosting. So last year what I did is I hosted downstairs in like the club lounge. And it was really cute. And I had this like Ramadan Mubarak sign, but it just... It didn't end up sticking. I think I don't think I was able to like stick anything to the walls. I can't re really remember what happened, but I feel like this will be really, really cute for all the guests. I wonder, I kind of want to see if I can get helium with this so it can just like float and it can be really cute, but super, super nice. And that's everything I got from Days of Eid. So the rest of everything I got is from Amazon. And I mainly just wanted to get, like, I didn't want to go too crazy with the decorations because, one, I have a lot of decorations already um, from, like, prior years. But I also mainly just wanted to get, like, really cute dinnerware. Um, obviously, plastic and paper because... It's just much easier. I mean, I don't have to wash dishes and I honestly don't even have the space to put, you know, new dishes and stuff like that. So I'm kind of thinking of like a Santorini Mediterranean vibe this year. So I got these and they're really cute. So these are by the brand Coteri and we have some of like the large plates with this really beautiful blue design it kind of looks like china or something but it's literally just paper i will say it's not like the best quality plates like you know you can't hold a lot of food on here but they're definitely very cute and they they look really cute on camera too and then i got like the um small dessert plates for it and then it also came with these matching cups which i'm actually happy that these are paper because i can do tea um and like shy and stuff for after if it's are and then yeah so i got a couple of those and then I also got the matching napkins just to like bring the theme all together. So, and then I got these bowls because I love making soups and I thought this would be perfect for hosting. And it has this really cute like star design. Um, and these are like also like paper as well. So a little bit better than plastic, you know, in terms of recycling. So there's that. But I also wanted to share were these really, really cute mocktail glasses. So I've been really into making mocktails and I really want to make like a special mocktail for Ramadan um, whenever I have guests. So I found this set of six. These are just two. I don't want to bring all six, obviously. But it was a set of six of these gorgeous, gorgeous glasses for literally $40. Like so inexpensive. And these are really good quality too. So I feel like these will be really pretty to make a mocktail and just, I don't know, it'll look really cute with like the rest of the dinnerware. Um, and this is something I didn't want to get in a plastic because I, I definitely feel like I'm going to use this a lot more um, than just one time. And they're so cute. If you guys haven't been seeing, but I've been doing a lot of mocktail content on my Instagram and my TikTok and stuff. But um, yeah, I'm just kind of like really inspired to make cute mocktails because I love ordering mocktails whenever I go to restaurants and stuff and um, why not just make them at home 
So moving on, um, I got some candles because I don't want to keep buying candles that just keep like melting and like they get all over the place. Like I've done that whole thing and it looks cute, but then it's just so annoying to clean. So I did some research and I found some really like real looking candles um, and they actually come in like a glass and I swear it's like real wax too. It's real candle wax, but it is battery operated. I don't have a battery in this right now, so I can't really show it, but this is what they look like. And I like that they came in a set of three, so they're already stacked differently. I started with just a set of three. They had a set of five as well, but I wasn't 100% sure if I was gonna like them in person. So I started with just three, but I think I am gonna end up ordering more because I think they look really, really beautiful and they're like varying heights so this just like stacked all over the place i feel like would be so like romantic and just moody and i don't know i really like it I think oh yeah it is a glass it is glass okay um but this is what the actual wick looks like it's not like that paper wick that looks like very obviously fake it's actually like a thicker like plastic and then it just like goes back and forth and it flickers really nicely so these were inexpensive i'll link them below but um, I think I'm gonna get more so that I could have them like kind of all over the place and just be really beautiful. So I just got a couple more things. I didn't go too crazy. Like I said, I still have a lot of decor from the past years, but I wanted to get some olive branches because I don't know, I just feel like that's very festive for Eid, like olive oil, sunna, Mediterranean. <laughs> I don't know, y'all get my vibe. I thought this would be really beautiful to put in a, a vase. Um, and they actually have like real looking olives on them which is kind of crazy like we were tripping out earlier because we're like wait these actually look so real and they low-key feel real too <laughs> so i'm gonna put this in like a really beautiful vase and it does come with like one two three four five different stems so i think i can like actually place these in different areas and maybe do like one or like two in one and then some in another part of my house but these are really really nice um, and then I also got some garland um, this is olive garland as well I don't think it has any fake olives in here but it is wrapped in um, sorry the light is kind of annoying right now it's a sunny day um, but it is wrapped in like little fairy lights so I feel like this on a table will look so beautiful I feel like you could honestly even leave it in a circle like this and put like I don't know a centerpiece with flowers but this is battery operated thankfully so you can put it on a table and just like hide this under the tablecloth and it'll just like twinkle and be really beautiful so stay tuned to see kind of how I decorate everything but that's I think all of the decor that I got um yeah oh and it comes with a little switch is this for this or I'm guessing this is for the days of Eid one yeah so you can like change it I guess we'll find out I don't know <laughs> but anyways that's everything I got in terms of like home and accessories I also got some items from mango because they have a Ramadan collection so I wanted to quickly show you guys kind of what I got this is one of the tops that I got um, I found it really cool that Mango actually came out with a, with a Ramadan collection. I was kind of waiting for like H&M um, or one of those brands to do one, but so far I've only seen Mango and the pieces are actually really cute. I didn't get everything. Actually, I did end up getting almost everything. <laughs> we saw these really cute dresses last minute and um, I ended up ordering those separately. So I'll show that in a vlog sometime, but let me do a quick little haul of the clothing that I picked up from Mango's Ramadan collection. So this is the first set that I was just wearing. It is so beautiful. It's like this ribbed satin material and it's very modest. The top is in a size 10 and the bottoms are in an XL. I will say I kind of wish Mango had better sizing. Like the fact that I'm the biggest size is like kind of concerning, like there should be more sizes, but I don't know, hopefully they see this and change that. I feel like the length is really good. I'm pretty short, I'm like 5'4", and the length is perfect with a pair of heels, but I also do have the waistband like literally above my belly button, so if you're taller you can pull it down and it'll be nice and long, but I have this and then I also got it in another color. This is the other color, which is this gorgeous like ivory creamy white color this is probably my favorite it is just so classy and so stunning i'm holding it with a purse and wearing it with heels so you guys can kind of like see the whole vision um but that's what it looks like i will say the pants are and also the shirt or just in general it's like a tiny bit sheer not sheer that like you can literally see your skin but you can kind of see i guess the outline of like what's underneath but 
I don't know. I don't know if I would really wear something under, <laughs> just being completely honest. Um, I kind of wish it was lined, at least the pants, that would have made it like a lot more opaque, but it still is really, really beautiful, and I like that it's like long in the back. I feel like this will be really cute to wear for like iftars, family iftars, um, even on Eid, honestly, this would be like a really, really cute outfit for Eid. This bag is from Strathbury, in case you're wondering. It's kind of like, it's like designer, but not like obscenely expensive designer. It's like mid-tier designer and luxury, but I love this outfit. This is the last matching set that I got from the Mango Ramadan collection. It's got more of like a casual feel to it. Um, it's kind of this like, I don't know, they call it satin, but it definitely, it looks more like a linen material, but honestly it's probably polyester, I'm not really sure. But it feels really nice, I really like the length of it in the back, it's very very modest, it's really cute, definitely more, like I said, of like a casual look. I feel like my mom is gonna see this in this video. Shout out to mom right now. <laughs> She's gonna be like, buy me one. But unfortunately the pants only come in an XL so I can't. But, very very cute. Okay, last and definitely least, I'm not a huge fan of this one. I just put an abaya on top because it is short sleeve. So this is like a tank maxi dress. And I see the vision, like this would have been a cute like style to wear under an open abaya if it was actually not this disgusting Barney purple. I, I feel like some people will like it. I am just not some people. You know, I, I do like how it's sewn. It's maxi, it's totally opaque. I feel like this is something my mother's gonna like, so I'm probably gonna take this back with me to Toronto so that she can wear it because she has like purples and stuff like this that could match, but I just wanted to show you guys like I'm guessing this is what they were trying to do, you know, just a little something to wear under a navaya. I will say it is very like wide and modest. It's very long too, so if you're tall, this will be perfect for you, but it's just not really my taste. But anyways, that is it for this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it and got some ideas on home decor or even fashion. Like I mentioned, I will link everything that I featured in this video down below so that you guys can shop it before Ramadan comes. And uh, let me know if you have any other questions down below or if you have suggestions for me on like where to shop for certain things as well. Um, that would be really great. And be sure you are subscribed, guys. I'm gonna be posting a lot of content over this next month, um, especially during Ramadan. This is gonna be the fifth I think it's the fifth or sixth year of the Ramadan daily I think it's a sixth year yeah which is kind of crazy like I I really started a movement over here <laughs> shout out to me <laughs> but thank you guys for watching and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it it would really really help I would really appreciate it and I will see you guys in my next video